It's 90.3 KEXP, and we stream all over the world at kexp.org. My name is Troy Nelson. Very excited because we have a friend of KEXP, uh, KEXP's right here, and we are very excited to have Mark Eitzel, who uh, had some uh, travel difficulties getting here, but he is here. And Hooray! Thank you so much. You made it. I did. You didn't get completely <laughs> held up no, in traffic. No, no, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> well I know that uh, we and our listeners would love to hear a few songs, so if you're ready, you guys go ahead. Great. This is called uh, In My Role as a Professional Singer and Ham. The carpenter went to his dark place again A mouthful of gravy and turkey and truth He only hears you when you say amen So heavy is his burden of proof Likes to brag about the enemies he outfoxes Oh, there's so many dark forces at bay So many carpenters building little boxes In the faded glory USA And when they look at me, I look away are a bore Your eyes may glow like stolen watches Tell me why the righteous are so hungry for war beautiful, beautiful love song called An Answer, as in There Might Be One. And it's the same chord as the last song, so don't be bored. Uh, well, come on and dance with me right now, right here in your merciful kitchen. Let all the sorrow disappear while I Go missing Under your soft crystal 
Christmas lights Honey, who could ever reap what they sow And dancing's the only thing that I do right As long as we keep it nice and slow And you're always on my mind just can't leave you behind You make me want to stick around And find if there's an answer I don't know how I got to be so broken If you want to leave, well, what can I say? But now let's sing that hymn for all things left unspoken A little song called Dance the Night Away And you're always on my mind I just can't leave you behind Just can't leave you behind. You make me wanna stick around and find mm, if there's an answer. Yeah, you're always on my mind. I just can't leave you behind. Stick around and find if there's an answer. If there's an answer. If there's an answer. If there's an answer. You're listening to Mark Eitzel live here on 90.3 KEXP. That song, An Answer, and the song before it, uh, both off the new album, Hey Mr. Ferryman, which was just released. Yes, sir. Very cool. What number record is this for you, Mark? Huh? They tell me it's 19. 19? Yeah. That's amazing. Well, you think I'd get it right. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten it right quite a few times. Now, is that just solo records, or is that also with your band, American Music Club? Ten solo records and nine records with AMC. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. And uh, thanks again for stopping by. Oh, are you kidding? It's an absolute pleasure. I love this place what so you, much. What do you think about the new, the new digs? It's scary beautiful. It's so good. It's pretty crazy. Did, yeah. you, did you know that you have like a hundred and some people behind you? Of here course too? I do, yeah. <laughs> no, it's empty. It's just full of silence and sadness. I know that. You know. And uh, who did you bring with you today? Who's this? Uh, a gentleman named Patrick Maine, who's a great, great artist. Awesome. 
And so uh, playing the Triple Door, which have you played there before? It's I played a, there a couple times. An before. amazing venue. I'm so lucky. It's going to be perfect for you. Because uh, Hal Gelb is also on the bill, who's amazing. Yep. It's, it's a great night. I awesome. Think. So you're going to do that. Go to Portland and Mississippi Studios, and then you're going to go to Europe. Going to Europe Sunday, yeah. European dates. Now yeah. you spent some time. Did you grow up uh, in Europe? Well, I'm an army brat, so I grew up in, in England until I was about 19. 19. And yeah. then where did you move to? And then I moved to beautiful Ohio. Oh, that, uh, was it culture shock going from? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, the definition of hell is freezing in the in the in the winter and it's too hot in the summer. It's just hell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got into music pretty early, and being a teenager in the '70s, I'm curious what was some of the first artists that really started resonating with you that may almost changed your life maybe when you were like 14, 15 years old. Oh, I'll tell happens. you exactly. I mean, you know, was any, uh, one, number one, anything my sister hated, I liked, right? And uh, number two, um, Joan Armour Trading, I just fell in love with. I really loved her. Um, and uh, I really loved Yes when I was a kid, you know, and then punk rock happened. And uh, uh, anything, by anything. The Stranglers, I saw. My first, my first show ever was um, uh, The Damned. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. So, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Where did you see the damned at? Do you... uh, in Southampton at, at, uh, in, the, in the university. And you've played in a, a few bands. Uh, you've had some interesting band names as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the Naked Skinnies. What, was, what happened well, to the Naked Skinnies? <laughs> I got fat. No, um, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it was just bunch, we were just a bunch of kids in Columbus and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to be Joy Division or, or the Raincoats, whichever. Amazing. Yeah. Y yeah, your knowledge of music is so wide because you've also dabbled in so many different genres of music. You're actually sort of a hard person to explain when people ask me, you know, what does Mark Eitzel sound like? I'm like, well, on this record, he sounded like this. Yeah. And on this record, he sounded like that. I mean, definitely there's a, always a singer-songwriter aspect. You've dabbled in electronic music. You've dabbled in some uh, jazz, folk, rock, you name it. Uh, you've, you've sort of... I just love music. You do? I do. I really do. And you're open-minded to a lot of different uh, genres and styles. There's and no such thing as bad music, actually, unless it's made by evil people. Right. You know. Exactly. Like, well, when Trump starts singing, I will I'll right. probably, you know. Although I heard Charles Manson's album's not terrible. That's what I heard. <laughs> it's awful. I heard it. <laughs> is it awful? Yeah, okay, then I believe you. It's just like, it's like, it's like he's singing from a part of, the, a part of his anatomy I can't mention on air. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm going to take your word for it, for sure. Um, what can you tell people about Sheldon Gomberg? Sheldon Gomberg is an incredible engineer, an incredible soul, and I love him to death. I did an album with him. Yeah, what? Great producer. Oh, you know, just, great, just great I just his, uh, I just saw that name because I was thinking to myself, I know you recorded or produce a lot of your albums yourself, but this was an instance where you actually worked with a producer. So I was curious what that was. Well, was I, I did all the arrangements on the record um, because uh, he was like... Uh, you know, you don't have enough money for me to really do my job. So, right. you, know, you know, so I, I did pretty much pretty much a lot of it. But no, but he just made me sound so good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he was wonderful. Yeah. Now, even though you've been to Seattle quite a few times, uh, you and I have a mutual friend in a Seattleite, and that is Peter Buck. Sure, yeah. And uh, have you spoken to him recently? I saw him last summer. Mm -hmm. That's the last time. Yeah. Um, such he, a good guy. Nice such guy. a wonderful, wonderful man. Now he's on tour with Alejandro Escovedo. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so yes, wonderful man. Yeah, it was the very actually when I met Peter was the very first time that I saw you. It, there was a record store in Seattle. Well, there's still one in West Seattle, but it was Easy Street Records, and it was in the Queen Anne neighborhood. And I worked there, but the store hadn't opened yet. You were one of the first uh, people to perform an in-store performance at this record store that hadn't even opened yet. Wow. And Peter came down to to check you out, and that's when I met Peter. So yeah, he's 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 a real man. He's a real good man. I mean, I love him. Yeah, very cool. Absolutely. And the new album, once again, from Mark Eitzel is called Hey Mr. Ferryman. Highly recommend it. Also go to the Triple Door tonight. And if uh, you guys have a couple more songs, I know that we'd all love to hear them. This one is uh, about a man named Mr. Humphreys from a show called Are You Being Served? And, uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a, two nurses talking about him in his retirement home outside of his door. Try and be kind to Mr. Humphreys in room five uh, Cause he'll get grumpy Trying to keep hope alive And though the well is dried up He won't give or shut up He just keeps hoping Hoping uh, He 
spent all his life on the television. He even had a catchphrase of his own Always made a great entrance on the stage A free man walking from a cage Millions loved him less of a bore and the heart it don't need brave words or deeds it just keeps hoping to beg, never needs to crawl, and the heart is a prayer, it don't cave in or scare, it just keeps hoping. song is called La Llorona, and for those out there who are offended, I am the faggot in the song. La Llorona knew love, her heart spilled like wine, her laugh could shatter glass, always brought the real good time. She loved her men too much And they loved to misbehave Cause she is the lightning strike That turns the thunder brave And if you shine too bright Then you vanish The faggot, the junkie, the run around. She let one use her to hide behind. She let one use her to hide his pain. She let one use her just for fun. Like she's a pawn in the whole world's game. But that turned her dreams to ash And like a footprint on the moon Shattered dreams 
don't fade in a desecrated tomb and that's when the tears started tears that can't be outrun when you're so The junkie, the run around. Love is the blood where we drown. The faggot, the junkie, the run around. Curses of the dead Pour down your owner's cheeks They freeze on her face Like stars beyond reach And her hand holds the blade Her eyes the long abyss her kiss Love was the only good thing she found The fag of the junkie The run around Yeah, love is the blood Where we drown The fag of the junkie The run around That's over. <laughs> You've been listening to Mark Eitzel live here in 90.3 KEXP. Is that how that song ends on the record, too? No, it's, it's <laughs> not really. We've got, like, all kinds of instruments on the record, you know. Awesome. Yeah, strings, yeah. I'm assuming. Is there yeah. any horns? What, what else you got? Uh, there's some fake horns. Fake but, horns. But, yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again, Mark, for I really appreciate by. it. Thank you so much. Definitely Troy. always nice hearing you. You're a phenomenal talent, and uh, we'd love having you here at KEXP. And don't forget, the new album is called Hey, Mr. Ferryman. Go see him at the Triple Door tonight in Portland tomorrow at Mississippi Studios and then in Europe. And I also want to thank Alia, Jim, and Justin, our video team, and want to thank Alan for taking some photos, and Kevin Suggs, Reeves, and Jen for hospitality. Thanks to everybody who makes these in-studios happen here at 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.